Hey there guys. In spite of it being an intolerably hot day, the fact that I made a three foot painting earlier that bugs walk through has inspired me to want to do another puddle and scoop. And for that it requires more of my blaster right into my rice bowl lid, nice and shiny. Keeps the paint from sticking. And use some pretty colors if they'll come out. You'd think that that would come out, wouldn't you? I checked this earlier, and I think I need to dump it all out and mix it up with some more flow troll, just because. I'm gonna just be as rude as possible with these colors, because I need to know what's gonna happen if I do that. So, bright is the word. Dramatic also should be the word. Let's put a little contrast in there. Probably don't need all this. The splooges will loosen the silicone from the bottom. Yep. Simple palette. Really? Am I really going <laughs> to... Am I capable? That's the actual question. That's pretty. Okay. I think that's good enough for right now. So, next. In spite of the fact that I don't have any white, I got the one with the bigger tip. I swear I did. Let's just put some white down. Because when I start to put puddles down, I'm going to want something in between. That's a flow troll booger. Whoops. <laughs> okay. I just want you to know I don't actually make movies without you guys anymore. I don't make artworks. I always make movies. That's what I'm trying to say. So, you're here by the grace of the fact that I want to do this so badly right now. I didn't put any gold in there. And I want some gold in there. That's a really dark gold. I have another gold around here somewhere. Yes, I do. And there it is. I also didn't put any dark purple in there, which I would like. And I have some of that right here. Ooh, and it's a metallic. So now I have superbly extra paint, like way more than I need, but I'm going to do some, oh, we have ants too. How wonderful. I just love pouring outside in the buggy season. Let's just have right at whatever I've got the most of and make puddles out of it, shall we? That sounds like a good plan because I'm usually pretty happy with what I personally have chosen as my favorite colors. So that's okay. And I'm sure I'll get back to that. What else? We'll get back to that too. That's different. Okay, so puddle pores being what they are, I'm going to start with. Ooh, there's not much of that. What a great color. What do I want to put in there? I think I want to put a lighter version of that in there. And I've already gone way past what I intended on doing. Ooh. Cool. Which is fine. I think I'm going to take a chance and try some white in there too. And then I'm going to take my little flat front spoon and my dish of color. Boy, that's so pretty, really. And try and not overdo it. And this time I'm just going to let them twiddle around in a ring somewhat. Unless they want to add some, in which case I'll do that too. Nothing too exact. Still the second time I've ever done this. I'm liking that. Maybe I'll put some of that over there because I can. And I do expect to add some more puddles, but I don't think we need much. I'm actually inclined to give it a miss. I'm going to use this to grab that. I want that. And now I remember that my turntable is somehow unlevel. And I'm not happy about that. Especially since everything runs the way unlevel goes. I have some color to use up. And I love that color. 
And there are no rules. That's why I do exactly what I want. I forgot to put any yellow in there. Darn. Maybe I should put some yellow in here. I think so. Why not? <laughs> what could it hurt? I want to put more kinds of weird stuff in there. But we are at the point where it's time to find an edge catcher. And I put a couple right here where I could find them. Edge catcher 101. And we're going to tip the sucker. Maybe with some more black right there. And I don't know how I'm feeling about that. I don't think I needed that <laughs> for sure. But let's see how things are moving around as I tip this. Yep, that makes me happy. Let's go up here. So as we tip an edge and let it roll back and squeeze the edge catcher over. I can also take what's running down this way and do the same thing with it. I'm losing some paint I didn't want to lose, but that's okay. It's all a learning process. Do I like that? I'm not sure about that. I am sure about this. I can't get enough of that. <laughs> now, I've got plenty of paint. I like this. I'd like to save that, actually. I'd like to save it, and I'm going to take my straw. And move some paint to the corner. And then I'm going to let all these things... Whoop, start to drip that way. Squeeze my edge catcher back and forth. Yes, it's a little messy, what can I say? There's a lot of paint on here. Probably way more than I needed, but that's okay. Because I'm kind of liking what's happening there. And it's always good when I like what I'm doing. And I think this time I'm just going to put white on the corner. Use my other clean spatula. Hope that my picture is in front of you. And that I continue not to have all my paint drip off one corner of the canvas. Squeeze it into that edge. And over the edge. Oh, really? Where did that even come from? It's probably a dead bug trail. They like me. They like white, too. Oh, I'm so tempted. Yes, I am. Because <laughs> I'm right there. Oh, there's somebody in the pool. I'm doing this just because I happen to have it on my on my spatula. Really like that over there. I really wish there was something else there. I don't know what I want to do with that. Yes, I do. I want to mess with it. So I'm going to take some pretty color. Use my spatula and pretend it was there all the time. Grab a skewer. Let it get over the edge. Roll my skewer. Oh, there's colors under there. Cool. I think this is going to be a big mess as far as color goes. I've got a lot more paint again than I wanted or I needed, but I still like it. And I think I want that black to be joined by something else. And I've got some beautiful colors right there. Push that black over. I'm not being careful with the colors on my spatula because I don't want to be. And I have places that require paint along the edge. And I have paint on my spatula that will perfectly cover those if I'm quick about it. I don't see any other spaces. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, I lied. Let's put some, let's move this into a better location. I really want to try my heat gun. 
because the torch has not been working for me. But I suspect if I go ahead and try the torch, I might get some really good effects right now. So this is the way that's going to go down since we have nine minutes left. I'm going to try my torch. Boy, that's really tipped. Maybe a lighter would work. <laughs> All right, I got a lot of paint. I also have a lot of paint in my way. But I'm going to try this. Pardon your ears. Let's try the on button. I've seen a lot of impressive things happen with heat guns. It's not making as much noise as I expected. Uh, it could be because I need more fan. Yes. I would just like to tip this almightily a lot more than I have. Lift the whole. See what we can move around. It's another because I can moment brought to you from me. That was a squeeze bottle of paint falling over. So it must be time to pull my cord over here. I find what this does, at least my heat gun does, is dry the paint out. What it makes me want to do right now is to use my straw before I go any further. That needs to cool down for a minute. I'm using my straw. Sorry about the noise. Maybe I can... Nope, I can't do a thing about that. Well, sorry about the noise. There's my straw. Goody. No more noisy fan. But the heat gun did put a skim coat on the top of my paint that I'm not going to complain too much about because this is pretty cool. The white is coming out as a nice negative space. I need a nice wet rag, and there it is, to wipe the excess paint off my hands. What else am I going to do? I'm going to blow this. Right off the edge. I know you think my head's in the way, but you're not missing anything. I'm just blowing through a straw. What am I going to do with that? I kind of like it, but I'm not sure. That white set up so fast. Wow. That's interesting. I would really like some more cells. I could just dump this whole thing off and be pretty happy. I'm pretty sure it would just go crazy. I'm inclined to just take another canvas and dump it off. But if I do that, <laughs> I won't have this anymore. Hmm. Let's take my wet rag and wipe off the skewer. Let's see if there's anything going on here other than the fact that paint is setting up and cracking all over the place. Yeah, I don't know. I have not mastered the heat gun yet. So don't, don't use me as an example of anything heat gun Take all the suggestions I can get. <laughs> I've got one, so I'm hoping to be able to use it at some point in time. I'm going to assume, no matter what I break up now, that it's going to settle back down into some kind of reasonably usable, colorful, stripey, funky pattern. I really don't like messing with my purple. I like my purple, but to me, it looks like it needs some help right there. Just makes me want to do another one, like right now. And I could, I want some black there. Yep, that makes me a little happier. 
wipe off my skewer. Move my block sideways because I can. Right over the side. Yeah, the heat gun changed the consistency of the surface a lot. It's gelatinous to say the least. Which makes me want to pull a whole bunch of that right off. that in there. Yeah. And maybe some gold. Don't get me wrong, I still like it. It's just, I'd like to bend it to my will and it's not really at that stage yet. Nor will this particular piece probably ever be at that stage. I think, since I personally believe gold solves everything, <laughs> not really, I am going to have a little more of it. Doesn't bother me to wipe off your skewer, especially now. Tapping into place. And let's just pretend that's making a pattern that was meant to be right there. Yeah, I think so. And the same again. I've never actually tried to put paint down onto damp paint. I'm not hating it, I'm not loving it, I haven't, I'm reserving judgment. I wish my torch would work. I think if I'm going to do something else, I'm going to go find a, my other torch and see if I can make it work. Let's see what's in here. A lot of kind of sticky paint. Well, you know what? I actually like this. I really do. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Well, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. <laughs> and I've got a dish of paint left. But I think I'm going to just do another video and put it right down in the center. See what happens when I do that. Okay. You can see pretty much everything. And it looks better from up here. But um, it's not terrible. <sighs> I want to put something over there. <laughs> Nah, it's good over there. All right, I'm done for now, I hope. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye.